Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm really excited because I have both versions of Red Velvet's Summer Magic to unbox for you. So I have the normal edition and then the limited member cover edition. I got Joy because Joy is my bias. So I know there's a bit of a glare on her cover right now, so we're going to start off with the normal edition first. So the normal edition comes with this cover which has all five of the girls on it. It also comes with a sticker that is a bit raised off of the cover. And here's the side, which the side has this really cool effect, which I think it's like a drip off of a popsicle or ice cream cone that is raised as well off the side, and it comes with the drink logo on the bottom. And then here is the back, which has a picture of all the drinks and all of the tracks on the top. So this is the normal edition CD plate. It says Red Velvet Summer Magic and it comes in blue, not a member specific color. So then let's get into the photo book, which I'm really excited for. So the Girl Scout outfits, as I'm calling them, I'm not sure what everyone else is calling them, is actually my favorite outfits they did for this entire concept. I wish this was a poster because I need a Red Velvet poster. I don't have one. And they're my ultimate girl group, so I actually really need to work on that. Like, honestly, this concept is probably one of my favorites that Red Velvet has ever done. I also love how SM had them do drinks, and all the drinks are coordinated with their own fruits. Irene, as usual, looking like the visual goddess that she is. Solgi. That's cute that she used the pool floaties as a pillow. This is just like, I really can't get over just how amazing just they all look in these Girl Scout uniforms and the concept they did for it. Like, I just really love it. <laughs> I really do. And Wendy. So I think I've had this question with Wendy's fruit since Red Flavor happened. Since her color is blue, why didn't they go with a blueberry? Why did they go with an orange and make the orange blue inside? Is it because she likes oranges herself? I've always been really curious over that because it just didn't make sense for me that they would pick a fruit for her that's orange when her color is blue. Because all of the other girls have fruits that just go with their colors. So, it was always a question of mine on SM's part. I also just noticed that they put um, little tab colors here. So, on this page, because we've already been through Irene's section, you have the pink and you have the yellow, because we've also been through Solgi's. We're on blue currently, because we're in Wendy's section. And then we're going to go into green, which is Joy's, and purple, which is Gary's. And here's Joy's section. So this is the same picture that is on her limited cover. Also, Joy kind of killed it in the Versace dress. When I saw that in the MV, I was like, why can't I be as tall as her and have legs as long as her? I would really want that, but don't have that, so I definitely couldn't pull that off. And Yeri. I really do like Yeri's hair for this era, the color and everything. I think it looks very nice on her. Though I think my favorite Yeri style hair was when she had the red for Russian roulette. And the blonde for um, one of these nights also was very pretty on her. So then we get into the back of the lyric book, and it looks like what they did for this is they set it up as a ingredients list. So we have all of the girls' fruits at the bottom right here with a checklist. So this is really cute. 
I like how the toppings for the drink change with each concept for the song. bad boy English version and then we also have the credits back here which is I think this was very clever um, packaging from SM so this was the normal edition so I'm just gonna put all of this together and I will show the photo card that I got from this I actually remember to pull it out this time guys so the first thing you get is you get the infamous SM ad that is just specified towards red velvet. And then you get a photo card. So from the back, I'm pretty sure this is Yeri if they go by the girl's colors. And it is Yeri. So this is the one that I pulled for the normal edition. The normal edition photo cards are different from the limited edition photo cards just so that everybody is aware. So now we're going to get into the limited edition, which I was honestly so excited that they did this. Obviously, I bought both versions. So Joy is my bias, so I got Joy's cover. It also comes with a sticker, but this sticker is different than the normal because it's specified with the girl's own fruit. So Joy's is a kiwi. Here's the side. Oops. And then the back. So what's different about this then the normal edition is these drinks are actually all raised. So on the normal edition, it's just pressed in to the album, but this is all raised off the album. And on this sleeve, it also comes with this side where all the drinks are listed. And then Joy's, because this is Joy's cover, is checked off and it has her ingredients list on how to make her drink. So it's a box, and this is the slip cover. So for those who don't know, this is actually a pop-up cover. So they should be giving you a box that has little pop-up stands, which I'll put in at the end to show you guys. Here's the side. It has her name Joy on it, which is also raised. Each member has their name on the side. And then here's the back. So I think this... Okay. So this is the ingredients box you get for Joy's. And here we go. It says ingredients box on the side in her color. So put that to the side for now. Here is the photo book. And then here is the CD plate for Joy's Limited. So the CD plates for the limited versions come in the girl's color. So Joy is green, so her CD plate is green. Then, so this is a music recipe book. It's exactly like the one, the normal version. The only difference is that this one is a pull-out version. So then, here is the photo book. Which the photo book between the normal and limited, I have heard from other people, is supposed to be different. So I'm hoping that it's actually different. Okay. So already it's different. We're starting with Yeri this time and going into Solgi. Even the tabs for the folders are different. So SM really decided that they were going to give two unique versions for the albums, which I really appreciate because I honestly, I don't know if you guys do, but honestly, I kind of get annoyed when groups do this is so cute. When groups do a limited version and a normal version and the photo books and everything that comes with it is exactly the same. Skip the page. Is exactly the same. Because I just think if you're going to release two different versions, at least do a different concept or give multiple versions of photo books and give different photo cards. Even though that's probably going to hurt my bank account later because I don't think that I will be able to pull Joy in this either. This is a great group photo too. This is one of my favorite looks that Joy's did for the concept, but I don't think she's there going to perform 
in the looks for this concept part of it at all. But I really like it. I also like her hair color. So, is anybody else getting tired of Wendy always consistently having bangs for their com for their comebacks? Like, I understand that she looks really great with bangs. This is, like, my favorite picture of her, and I don't know why in this concept, but it really is. Um, anyway, back to Wendy. I just kind of missed Forehead Wendy that was in Happiness and Be Natural. I hope that SM will eventually let her go bangless and we can see Forehead Wendy again. <laughs> so this one does feel a bit shorter than the normal version. And it might be because I can actually pick this one up and feel it, and the normal version, I can't. And the normal version also has the lyrics put into the book itself, so that would also make it thicker. This concept, though, I really like it. Red Velvet is always a concept queen, so here's the back. And mine looks like they got a bit of glue or something stuck on it at the factory. No big deal. I don't really look at the back of my photo books, I always tend to focus on the front of them and what's inside. So not a huge deal to me. To some other people it might be a big deal and I totally understand that because you're spending the amount of money to get an album in basically perfect condition. So I do totally understand. If for you that wouldn't be okay and you would contact the seller immediately, I totally understand. So now we're going to get into the ingredients box, which is specific to each girl. So just let me open it off camera real quick, because you guys don't need to see that struggle at all. So I'm going to pull this out. So the first thing that you get for Joy's version is I got a big one of Joy herself. So we'll put her there. So it might be hard to see everything in the frame, but I'll tilt it so you guys can see it. So each girl set comes with a huge one of the girl that you specifically bought it for. It also comes with um, little decorations like this and their animals. So Joy is a chick. This feels so scary to like actually push into the album itself. Like, I almost don't want to push into the album because I'm afraid that'll break it. But I know that it's made to be pushed into. So I will just pull out everything else that's in here. So now the box is empty. So then you also get a drawing of the girls' drinks. Which, Joy's drink is like one of my favorite drinks that they made. Joy's also comes with a car, which makes sense because hers is made on a road. If I can get it in, here we go. And then you also get ones of the girls themselves, the different girls. So we'll put them over here, hanging out in the back. Here is the other set of the girls. You have Solgi and Wendy here, which we'll put chilling up here. So then you also get these two. So I'll put the Joy sign for Las Vegas. The sign really makes me think of Las Vegas. Um, sign, and then we'll put this. Maybe it was a Sydney. It looks like it's a um, cut up apple back here. So then it also comes with a random piece of a girl, one of the girls. And I actually got Joy's, so I pulled something of Joy's in the Joy Limited album, which is great. I was really worried I wasn't going to get this, so I'll put this here. But there are ones for Yeri, Wendy, Solgi, and Irene as well. So here is what my setup for it looks like. You can totally set this up any way you would like to. So here's your music recipe book. And I also said I remember to actually pull the cards out this time. So it also comes with the SM ad for Red Velvet. So you get two photo cards with the limited version. And judging from the back, I believe I pulled Irene, and I did. And she used a snow filter on her, so that's pretty cute. And then this one comes with a clear card as well. And I pulled Wendy for her clear card, which you'll probably be able to see 
better if I can put it here. And there wasn't such a shadow because of all the pop-ups. So this was my unboxing of both versions. Whoops. Of both versions of Red Velvet's Summer Magic. So all of my polls from the album, um, the photo cards. So the two limited photo cards are Wendy and Yeri and um, Irene, and the normal is Yeri. They're all up for sale or trade for Joy's cards from the same album. So if you're interested in that, please leave a comment below or DM me on Instagram. The link is down in the description below for you guys if you are interested in them. So this is my unboxing of both versions of Red Velvet's Summer Magic album, which is amazing. It's probably one of my favorite summer albums that have been put out in a very long time. And thank you for watching, and I do hope you enjoyed.